Hey, Mr. Blue back with part 5 of my uh, Sly Cooper playthrough. I'm going to go do the last two sections of this area and go to the next area before I start the next part of this playthrough. Basically just what he says, chop and smack it down, but don't stand around it too long, it will open back up. Uh, there's no new enemies in this area. All these enemies are enemies you faced before, and they consist of the guys that breathe fire and the guys that smack you with hammers. Just gotta smack your way through this door, you'll get some coins out of it, and just walk through. Watch out for this guy because he attacks, he attacks and you don't really see him when you're walking through because your body's kind of in the way there. Thank you, camera. Basically, you can bounce all these. You can see there's a life down there if you want it. You can bounce all the way across. You don't have to go on each one on like both left and right. I just did it anyway. But if you're trying to kill it all the bottles, you do that. Right here, simple thing, don't get hit by the lightning. Yeah, hitting, getting hit by lightning kind of sucks, and it really hurts. Take my picture, choose, and attack this guy, smash. And climb up this. And this one's a little bit more difficult because of the angle it's at. But, and it gets even harder at the next one because it starts going faster and sometimes there's more than three of the things I think like the next one has four but if you're pretty good at this kind of stuff just you're able to go through pretty quickly watch out for the hammer guy die and yet another one of these but this time they put lasers in it great new ideas And I'm gonna get a double whammy smack. And I'm just gonna walk your way over here. I just noticed that all the coins uh, in this place have Raleigh's hat on it, so they probably all, they change for every different level you're at. Like the next boss could have something on there, but I'm not gonna say. No spoiler. Ew, look at the squishy tar. Yummy. What you're going to do here is you're going to hook onto that thing that's behind you and jump straight on the spinning thing. This next part's fun because you get to cause a bunch of destruction and explosion. Yeah, I love doing that. Basically right here, just smack all the doors shut while you're walking through. And they put some more lightning there to try to scare you away from that thing, but just hop on it and smack the key. And there you go. Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? Basically, you gotta be a hamster. Yay! Go spinning the wheel, wait for the thing to come down, jump on it, and voila! Just swing your way across. Kinda of forgot here for a moment, but you're supposed to take the left side. And it'll lead you to the last uh, the last level of this area. Temperatures reading way off the charts. There's the safe right there. It takes me I always forget when I'm coming through this whole thing. And I want to get all the bottles. I always forget to go get that. Walk right into the fire here, misjudged my hit. My horseshoe. 
this one looks this one's pretty easy just take it run it until it starts blinking and that'll make it like go fast enough to take you across if you're really talented you could swing your way onto the next platform and skip ahead of this guy smack him climb up the spiral bar just some basic platforming right here If you fall off there, just use circle and you'll grab onto a near hook so you don't fall into the lava. Because falling into lava, that's bad, it hurts. That black stuff on the left is a bunch of like ash and stuff. If you're trying to collect all the bottles, a lot of them will be hidden there, but so will a lot of coins if you need a horseshoe. I'm gonna be kind of not smart right here and stay on there until the thing touches me. Uh, I like being dangerous. Basically you have to get that flaming rock over to this wall so it can smash it open even if it just barely touches it. Like right here. Yunk. Yeah, the alarm gets kind of annoying after a little while. Smack it and get the last key. And super sexy pose. Yeah. Alright, and that's done for this area. You're gonna go unlock the thing, the power generator, and smash it open. I got kinda lost right here walking around, like, where am I? And there you go. One thing I forgot, it's been a while since I've played this. Uh, you can't just go smack it, you're gonna have to do a jump smack, because otherwise you'll do this. And believe me, for being a guy who played baseball, that hurts. You just walk through and you'll get Bentley talking to you about how you're gonna get to the final area. That's about it for this, for this part. I'll see you guys in part 5. was good at math. Well, here's a real test for you. I found a way out to Raleigh's hideout, but unfortunately, it is doomed to failure. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's-its? You mean my holographic markers. Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. 